Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the aura secrets of the 5-1 profile. The first thing I want you to understand about the 5-1 the is that you can't see them. You can't see them as they truly are when you first see them. They have this projection screen around them. It's a very attractive usually a positive projection the first time you meet them not in all cases but usually and people do project upon them and they can project something that's completely different to who this person is i mean it's astonishing but it's also true and if you're a 5-1 profile you know exactly what i mean it's going to take a few months for you to uh for, for people really to see behind their projections to see where they've got it totally wrong, to see where um, there is really the you behind that. Well, meanwhile, you know, yeah, you know that, and it's like, well, these people, you know, have all these expectations of me, you know, to do this and to do that, and why is that? So, when you think about what the lines are, and the lines make up the profile, the fifth line is the the fifth line in the hexagram it is the epitome of what that theme is in the hexagram so people are going to go wow you know there's one that's absolutely brilliant just what we need you know, there's going to be all this energy going that is the epitome of that that theme now whether the fifth line is um you know wants to fulfill that wants to act upon that projection uh is another thing altogether that depends on their strategy and authority so one of the things in terms of the aura secrets is to know that that's a, that, that, that is going to happen and to do what you can to play with the projection screen uh, one of the things that i think is very useful is to to wear sunglasses so they can't actually see where your eyes are, are looking and project upon that um you know to be able to understand what is going on there is a seductive energy behind the fifth line that, that kind of draws people in because of this epitome, this, this practical side of them as well. Um, all fifth lines are practical at some level or another. Um, but that doesn't mean that they always want to be. And it doesn't mean that they're always available for being the practical person in whatever's going on. They may not. They can be very impractical sometimes they are also heretical so bear that in mind there is that side of them that um, will want to uh, go against what is the normal and it could be for everyone's benefit of course or not <laughs> of course so that's something to bear in mind um really the best way it works is for the fifth line to to go in and do the job and then leave again because otherwise if they stay too long the the savior you know people expect that they're going to help and they're going to save they're going to make a difference and if they do and they stay there then sooner or later it's going to be it's your fault you know you get blamed for things you've never even done or even thought of doing but again it's the projection screen so my advice is to go in there do the job and get the hell out and then they're always going to be wanting more from you and your reputation will be a good one because it was practical and because you helped them rather than a bad one because you stayed too long and it was all your fault so you know you've got to you've got to get that that movement through life um straight really um and it's not necessarily in your control either um strategy and authority is available to you but uh, there are other things going on with the 5-1. There is a karmic aspect to it where there are meetings with people from past lives, you know, old, old enemies that this is your chance to kick them off the edge and, um, and old allies that come around again and again, certain specific people that are there for you. And if you're correct, you're going to be meeting them, you know, much more. It is something to know that, in following your strategy and authority for everybody there does come a point where 
the cross takes over and you find your life kind of you find yourself on the right road but it it does take time and fifth lines can go you know can go off on a tangent we all can but um there's always an edge with the fifth line there's always an edge um they can be absolutely perfect sometimes in interaction with that transpersonal aspect um and say exactly what needs to be said in a way that leaves me breathless when i see that i go wow uh, you know i wish i had I wish i'd thought of saying that um but if it's someone in, in grieving or or whatever it may be they have they can uh, they can sometimes really just be able to cut in and know exactly what is the right thing to say it's beautiful to see uh, and the other side, of course, is they can be really nasty sometimes because, you know, most of the other people aren't going to be as practical, aren't going to have looked so deeply. They're five ones. They look deeply. Um, so there's that side as well. Um, and of course, you know, a nasty word spoken to someone who's a gossip and suddenly your reputation is shattered and you've got to leave or you've got to deal with the consequences of it. So bearing in mind that your aura is doing all that even without your um you wanting to do it you just to be aware of it awareness is everything really once you're aware of it you begin to see where things are going you don't have to f move into the full action of a not self behavior once you're aware of of what's going on and there will be levels of awareness that you get to through your process and that goes for everybody but with the fifth line it's there it's there and there can be positive and negative consequences so look after your reputation um i also want you to think about the the first line so we've got a we've got a seductive and attractive and practical personality and then we've got a first line so the first line is an insecure line it's strong or it's weak and you'll see that with the fifth lines you know if 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 you go up and and touch them they'll they'll go like this you know they'll harden up they'll they're like oh what's that you know whereas someone with a third line body like me that someone does that and i'll just go with it you know you know this is a new experience who's that it, it won't bother me um because of my my nature as a third line body but the first line body yeah they they're not going to like people too close to them they're not going to like this sense of you know maybe they're losing control of their personal space um and again this is a uh, please confirm in the comments if that's true for you um but that's what i postulate there is going to be this um if they're going to go into something new that they haven't been in they are going to be careful in the way that they go down that road um i'm, I'm thinking right now in terms of mountaineering and walking on scree you know they're going to you know one foot carefully in front of the other you know until they get into their ability to handle the landscape again going deeper into whatever it is and having said that yes as the years go by the first line gets deeper in their expertise so again there is always this um aspect of depth in the five one that is going to be something that other people are going to want from them at certain times um so again to know that to know that um people aren't going to see you uh correctly the first time uh that you have to give it time and also if it's something that you want in terms of um from other people you have to see that you kind of enjoy their cat and mouse game um it's like the pursuer pursued in the first line there is going to be this uh, um the seduction can take a long time um and i'm not talking purely sexually i'm talking about in all kinds of ways um ra once said to me ra who once said to me as a five one he said yeah you know people have no idea how long a really good seduction takes there is a process there is a connection and then a coming away again and then a connection and then coming away again and all the time the fifth line shines brightly with its uh, with its edge um 
it's one of those things in life for those of you who are not fifth lines you know when your connection with them there is always a kind of a, a haunting quality where you you really remember them and certain things that they said and certain ways that they were um it does have this universal theme in it um and all fifth lines at some level or another and at many levels should i say if you think about it depending on what it is they all have messenger qualities there is also certain things that can be conveyed through the aura by a five one uh, even if they're not trying to convey it there will be something that will be conveyed that people will remember um that can hit really deep so that can be really important later on in life all right so that's the five one um i hope you've enjoyed that if you want to get the full lowdown on the five one and all the uh, all the keynotes that are involved in it then there will be a link in the descriptions below which will take you to the preview and you consider if you if you wish to get that but that will be the complete um set of what's in the five one profile so pretty useful please like and share and subscribe I'm trying to build up the subscription so that i can do more for you and i will be back again soon all right bye bye for now